Gerald Morkel entered politics in 1984 when he was elected a member of the Labour Party. A decade later he defected to the National Party and would follow Harness Creel as Premier of the Western Cape. Leon says it was during this time that Morkel stood his ground and stuck with the DA. It had far-reaching implications for him. When Martinez van Skalkwijk, the deputy leader of the DA, walked out and uh, wanted to align with the ANC, and he held the proverbial gun to Gerald Morkel's head and he said, either you join us or we're going to remove you as Western Cape Premier. And Gerald then made a speech of utterly splendid defiance on the steps of the Cape Town Civic Centre and said, office without honour is the jailhouse of the political harlot. And he refused to go along and stayed loyal to the DA and as a result lost the premiership of the Western Cape, which is unusual in South African politics that people stand up for a belief rather than for power. Morgul became mayor of Cape Town in 2001. Former Premier of the province and colleague Peter Murray said Morkel was a man of integrity. We differed many a time on politics, but we were never nasty, insulting, or never tried to discredit each other. I had the greatest respect for him. I will surely miss him, just the fact that he's not there anymore. In a statement, the Western Cape government said Morkel was a stalwart for the cause and played a significant role in the development of democracy in South Africa. His family described him as a humble man of strong faith who worked hard to uplift communities. He was dedicated to his cause and he stood firm in what he believed in. He will be remembered by the family as an amazing father, a grandfather, an uncle who loved everyone that passed through his life, even his friends, his family, his loved ones, and the communities. Morkel remained a city councillor until his retirement from politics in 2011. His funeral will be held next Thursday in Grassy Park. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.